It's been a while since we've seen our friends who live outside the valley. Well, I recently spent time with our friend the frog. How's she doing? She's doing fine. She's happy that she learned how to swim. We went for a swim together and she introduced me to all her friends. It was a lot of fun. How nice! Next time you see her, tell her I said hello. Next time I see her, come swim with us. That way I can introduce you to her whole family. Milo, have you heard any news about our friend Mr. Lion? Actually, I haven't seen him in a long time. He never comes to visit us anymore. He used to spend the whole day with us, but ever since we built the cabin, I haven't seen him at all. We should go and visit him, and then we can invite him for an afternoon snack in our cabin so he can see it. That sounds like a great idea. Should we go tell the others so that they can come with us? There's no need for them to come with us, but it would be great if, while we're gone getting Mr. Lion, they start making our snack. Rita! Rita! Rita, can you come out for a minute? How's it going, guys? What's up? We're going to see our friend, Mr. Lion, and invite him to have a snack with us, since we haven't seen him in a long time. Could you and the others prepare a snack so that when we get back, everything is ready? You can count on me. When you get back, we'll have a big tray of snacks all ready for you. Perfect, Rita. Thank you. We'll be back soon. See you later. Alfred, Mumu, Tololo, come on out here. Milo and Olga went to Mr. Lion's house to invite him over for a snack. And they asked me if we could prepare something for when they get here. Well, everyone except you, Mumu, since you always eat everything. They wanted me to tell Mumu to sweep the floors so that everything's clean. And what will you be doing while they're preparing the food and I'm sweeping the floor? They asked me to be the one to organize everything. All right now, everybody get to work. This isn't fair, but if Milo and Olga said so, we need to do as they say. Hello, Mr. Lion. It's been a while since we've seen you. Hi, Milo. Hi, Olga. Yes, it has been a while since we've seen each other. How's everything? Everything's great. We came to see you and to invite you to have a snack with us and just catch up on things. Well, that sounds like a good idea to me. When's the snack? Well, I know it's really short notice, but we were planning on having the snack right now. Right now? Um, 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 right now is fine with me. Um, um, I have nothing better to do. So, let's go then. You're going to love the cabin that we built. A cabin? Yes, we built a really beautiful cabin on top of a tree with an elevator that goes up and down. An elevator? Yes, an elevator. What's the matter? Don't you like elevators? Actually, I think it's better if I stay here. I just remembered I have a lot of things to do. Mr. Lion, what's the matter? Are you afraid of elevators? No, 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 that's not it. So then what's wrong? The truth is that I'm afraid of heights, and that cabin, as beautiful as it is, is really high up. But wait, you've already seen the cabin? Yes, I've tried to visit you many times, but since you were inside the cabin and I was afraid to go up, I just left without telling you. But Mr. Lion, how could such a big, brave lion like you be afraid of heights? Yes, I know, it's embarrassing. You shouldn't be embarrassed. Don't worry about it. We'll have the snack under the cabin. That way you won't have to go up anywhere. Really? You would do that for me? Well, of course. That's what friends are for. Let's go have that snack. Yes! I'm so tired from sweeping the floor that I don't even feel like having a snack. Momo, when Mr. Lion sees how clean the floor is, he'll be very happy. You think so? I'm sure. He'll say, what a beautiful and clean floor you have here in this cabin. Look, they're here. Hi there, friends. Hi, everybody. Rita, is everything ready? Yes, the snack is ready. Please send it down here, okay? What do you mean down there? The cabin is really clean. That's not fair. You know, the cabin is very nice. It looks even bigger close up. And does the floor look really clean to you, Mr. Lion? From what I can see from here... <laughs> Well, yes, Mubu, the floor looks like it's really clean. I already knew it. We're coming down now with the sandwiches. 
Umu's getting harder and harder to understand every day. What does the floor have to do with it? We're all down now. Time to eat. By the way, why are we eating down here and not in the cabin? Because Mr. Lion likes seeing the cabin from down here. Well, next time I'll sweep the floor down here too, so it'll be nice and clean. Now let's eat. Rita, why does Moo keep talking about the floor? Well, because I told her that you told me to tell her that Mr. Lion was coming over to eat and that the floor needed to be cleaned. But Rita, we didn't tell you to tell Moo Moo to sweep. I believe it was your turn to sweep. Oh, really? Oh, well, I thought that's what you told me. I forgot it was my turn to sweep. You're too much, Rita. Poor Mumu. So, when we're done, you'll clean up. All right, that's fair. <laughs> Remember that day when we all went looking for mushrooms? I never went looking for mushrooms. Yeah, that day when we had such a great time, and then we went swimming in the lake. Now I remember. That was an awesome day. Another day that was really fun was when we thought there was a lion hidden in the bushes, but it ended up being Alfred snoring. <laughs> ah! Run, Moo Moo! There's a monstrous ah! monster! Ah! an egg on the ground and a precious little turtle was born. That was really fun playing mother to that little turtle for a little while. The egg is right over here. It looks like an egg from a small animal. It looks like a dinosaur egg to me. No way. It came from a cow. It looks like an ostrich egg to me, but I'm not sure. Given my vast experience in the field of animal science, I can deduce that this egg is from... It's moving! Now you'll see there's a cow Look, inside! a leg! And another leg! They're so pretty! How adorable! Oh, I love this! Careful! Oh, Look how careful. fast it moves! Don't step on it! Oh. Oh. to her. Her mommy came to get her and they left together. Well, I remember the first day I met Alfreda. She was so pretty. You fell in love with her right away. <laughs> I would say it was love at first sight. Alfred, a little dog just like you. She could be your girlfriend and you could get married and have little puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, friends. I see that you've brought back my sheep. Thank you. You have all been very kind. They've been very nice to me. And I promised Alfred that I would reward him with a kiss. If you'd like, I can give him one. Good afternoon. It looks like they've fallen in love. How beautiful. For me, a really special day was when nobody paid attention to me and I thought you all forgot about my birthday and then found out that you all planned a big surprise for me. Happy birthday to you! 
Happy birthday, dear Milo. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Yay! <laughs> What's all this? <laughs> I thought that you all had forgotten about my birthday. <laughs> I'm so happy that I almost feel like crying. Happy birthday, Milo. Here is my present. And this one is mine, a cake for everybody. And this is my gift. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, Milo. Thank you all for making this the best birthday of my life. Now everyone, time Yay! to celebrate. Yay! 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 <laughs> and helping the bee to collect pollen was really great, too. Actually, I would say that it was awful. Milo said the bee wouldn't hurt me. But if he stings me, I'll be mad. Maybe it's better when he gets here that I put my hand down so he doesn't come near me. But if I do that, he may get mad at me. That bee will sting me for sure. I think I better just run when he gets here. He's almost here. I'm so scared. I'm out of here on the count of one, two, three. Ah! A bee! I'm so happy that we're friends and we're able to share so many experiences together. I feel the same way, with many more to come. That's right, Talalo. A cheer for the Hoppets! Hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray!